Hello again, welcome to another edition of Crop Life Retail Week. Paul Shrimp here with Eric Spilgoy. Post Thanksgiving. Post Thanksgiving, yes. By the time, of course, <sighs> we're yeah, we're we're so full. <laughs> we are so full of so full of bull right now because we haven't eaten anything. Yeah, uh, well, that's turkeys. True. Turkey Day has come and gone for all y'all in the uh, in TV land or internet land or whatever they want to call this viewing Ooh, land. Viewing land. How's that? So, uh, but uh, yeah, I love this holiday. It's the ultimate man holiday. You get That's to, right. It's it happens the first day you're off, and then you have three days to like you know, let the let the day old let the beard go, and you know bump around in awful clothes, and That's true. Know, send people off to shop while you watch football. I mean, it's to me, it's like That's it's it's outstanding. Yeah, it's absolutely stellar. Very very good. What are you doing? You just gonna you hanging with the. F- with my with my father and my son and and the dog of course lucky those of you who might remember lucky she's very happy on this holiday because she gets lots of turkey which makes her happy and sleepy which is never a bad combination yeah that's one that's one happy dog it really is yeah it is. he's got he's got a heck of a life it's none but he'd love to just scratch him and yeah just sits there and... yeah pretty much oh I lost my toy I think I missed one off my shoulder. Oh, no. no. All right. That's so okay. I still have my. It was there long over. enough, so you know, actually, you know, I no got my pilgrim is. candle. I'm doing good here. <laughs> it still creeps me out. I can't. <laughs> no way. I, I just got to um, remember not to lean forward. Here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm home. I'm actually, uh, you know, it, through the miracle of eBay, we actually had, we're having 10, we're having 10 total for dinner. And of course, we have nine place settings in our China. Oh. My, my wife was lamenting this, so through the magic of eBay. I managed to come up with someone in just like on a couple suburbs over who's selling one online. Wow. Someone to go pick it up and be a hero. So you get 10 so, place settings. Good so job. So now we have 10. Yes. All right. So, very very yeah. proud of you, Paul. Yes, I get one for the husband. One one notch for the husband card. Okay. I'm sure I'll extract that several times over by the end of the weekend. But that, you know. All right. <laughs> I'll be feeling good for a while. So what in the, is is there anything happening? You know, it's a great week for talking to people. I know that because like you know a lot of they executives in, they yes. they sneak in and they kind of they just want to lay low, but you can kind of call them up and yeah. and find out what's going on. And I know some of the things I've heard from retailers not real positive for 2020, just from the standpoint of ag- agronomy and dealing with all this, this uh, prevent plant, trying to figure out how to have agronomic programs that growers are interested in talking about when growers are. In some places, still harvesting. Yes, this is a tough time, and if you're having a tough time, you are not alone. This is a dog fight for a lot of these guys trying to figure this out. So, and speaking of harvesting, I actually oh, have some nice numbers segue. on that, Paul. Yes. Nice segue. Yes, uh, folks, of course, are in the midst of harvest in a lot of places around the country, and uh, some of the numbers that came out this week. So, <laughs> um, they say that uh, the harvest is actually a little behind historic norms, Paul. We've got, yeah, we've, we've got uh, soybeans at about 91% harvested across the country, which is uh, off from 95% historically. Uh, and corn is much further behind, only 76% uh, harvested at this date here in uh, the end of November, which is down from about 92% as a national average on a normal year. Um, m- According to the report, most of the uh, behind harvest is taking place in the northern states, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, places where we've had a couple of snowstorms, and I guess another one was supposed to be heading there this Thanksgiving week. So uh, mm-hmm. if it uh, if you got more snow up in those places, uh, we're sorry, but hopefully you'll be able to get to the harvest uh, once some of it clears up. Yep. Don't forget the Dakotas. And, and the Dakotas, too. Correct. Pretty good, too. So, yeah, yeah. Lots, of, lots of tough times. Yeah, and so uh, kind of tied to that, of course, we've been tracking some of the commodity prices that have been going on, and uh, in particular, soybean. Uh, I know, Paul, a lot of the traders are following the whole U.S.-China negotiations regarding the uh, trade dispute. Uh, not much progress to report there. As a matter of fact, I know I got a note from our friends at uh, ARA this week that their pre-conference uh, uh, speech by a gentleman from the Trump government talking about China uh, has been canceled because that gentleman is going to be tied up in D.C. during uh, the week of December 2nd and cannot make the trip to New Orleans to speak. Um, but the price of soybeans, Paul, has dropped below $9 per bushel for the first time since, since September because of the non-movement uh, going on with the U.S.-China the negotiations. Yep. Yeah, it's just 
hopefully hopefully something gets done here soon. Although again, we're you know we still got that swine flu thing out there. We don't know exactly how much soybean it would free up at, at whatever point they do buy, assuming that that gets worked out. But yeah, there sounds like there's some hope on the uh, intellectual property, maybe putting out some yes, languages, I language see that. that yeah. uh, uh, that might be more agreeable, but again, you know, they, they keep saying this stuff. The reports are so early. I think, mm -hmm. you know, these trade missions, we know they take they take a long time to really get to the actual agreement. I and mean, most of the most of the commodity groups will tell you that that's just you know par for the course. You have to negotiate yeah. these things over time, and these agreements aren't just going to you know come out of nowhere. They're gonna they're gonna be forged out of out of a lot of hard work if they have any teeth and if they mean anything. So yeah. Uh, well, hopefully we'll see something soon, but who knows? Yes, we will. We will watch. And then one other thing uh, to report this week: uh, I got a note uh, that Monsanto, believe it or not, has pleaded guilty and been fined for using a banned herbicide in Hawaii. Uh, they've agreed to pay a ten point two million dollar fine and plead guilty to spraying this pesticide, uh, which was uh, PenCap M on a research plot in Maui, Hawaii, back in 2000, and uh, well, actually, uh, despite a ban on 2013 on that product being used. So, uh, we did get some Monsanto news in the news. Well, there you go. Well, what, anything else going on? I think it's... Well, I was going to say... say you're going to ARA next week. Right, I was going to say, I mentioned ARA earlier. I'll be at the ARA show in New Orleans next week, uh, December 3rd through the 5th. Uh, looking forward, Paul, to talking to the retailers there to find out what their feelings are on uh, 2020 and uh, their outlook. And also at that meeting, I'll be handing out the 2019 Crop Life Iron Product of the Year Award to the winner. So stay tuned uh, the uh, week of December 9th to see a video of that company accepting that award from me. And if you're if you're so inclined, uh, the electronic version of the Crop Life 100, I believe, is hitting the streets, quote unquote. Should be, yeah, yes. should be out in out the next, next week. week. Yep. Sometime next week is is the rumor. Yep. So uh, look for that as the latest rankings and all the fun interpretive copy and yeah, basically your life's work for the last the last month months. or so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much. Which so. is okay because I sure as heck don't. So everyone out there, we hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and we'll look forward to seeing you here very shortly. Great. See you again next week. Take care. If you have questions or comments about today's episode of Retail Week, contact us by email or Twitter, or type your message in the comment section below. Your feedback is important to us. We'll try our best to address your thoughts in next week's episode. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.